The Amazon basin is home to 60% of the planet's remaining tropical rainforests. Covering an area nearly the size of the continental United States, one-fifth of all the world's fresh water flows through the Amazon's immense network of rivers. The Xingu River is one of the most important rivers of the Amazon. It sustains the livelihoods of over 25,000 indigenous people from 18 ethnic groups, riverbank populations, and innumerable species of plants and animals. The Xingu Basin contains the largest contiguous mosaic of protected areas in Brazil, combining indigenous territories and conservation areas. Yet here in the heart of the Amazon rainforest, the Brazilian government is planning to construct what would be the third largest hydroelectric dam in the world, Belo Monte. At a dramatic turn of the Xingu River called the Big Bend, known for its breathtaking rapids and impressive biodiversity, the $17 billion complex would divert almost the entire flow of the Xingu River to generate electricity for giant aluminum and iron ore smelters. Together, Belo Monte is actually three dams, a 233 megawatt dam called Pimental, a complementary dam called Bella Vista, and the main 11,000 megawatt dam called Belo Monte. To divert the flow of such a massive river, two artificial canals, together larger than the Panama Canal, would be carved out of the rainforest. Once built, the two reservoirs of the Belo Monte complex would flood over 640 square kilometers, an area the size of the city of Chicago, yet its negative impacts would be felt across an area that reaches far upstream. If the Belo Monte Dam complex is built, it will cut off the flow of the Xingu River, leaving local populations without access to water, fish, or means of transport. Two indigenous tribes, the Jaruna and the Arara, have made the Big Bend their home for generations. The drying of the river would have grave impacts on their traditional way of life, based on fishing, hunting, and farming. Shayla Jaruna of the Jaruna people is opposed to Belo Monte. O rio é a nossa casa, é do rio que sobrevivemos, o rio e toda essa natureza. Então, sentimos ameaçados, porque esse grande empreendimento, ele não é viável para a nossa região. E sim, poderá trazer muita desgraça, muito, um custo muito alto, porque nossas comunidades também vivem sofrendo. Thousands of settlers who live along the riverbanks fish and farm on the Xingu's shores and islands. The Belo Monte Dam would force these families off their land and into cities. There, they're likely to compete for jobs with over 100,000 migrants who will pour into the region expecting to work in construction. O agricultor, ele, ele jamais, se ele for para a cidade, ele vai se sentir muito oprimido. Nós não queremos ir para a cidade. Nós queremos ter nossas terras em paz. Migrants to the region who do not find jobs or lose their jobs after the dam is built are likely to turn to logging and cattle ranching the leading cause of deforestation in the Amazon. Meanwhile, Belo Monte's reservoirs would flood considerable portions of the nearby city of Altamira, displacing more than 20,000 people. Dozens of species found nowhere else in the world make their home in the flooded forests of the Xingu, such as the zebra pleco, the plant-eating piranha, and the Xingu poison dart frog. Cutting off the seasonal floodwaters of the Xingu would lead to the extinction of at least 10 species of fish that are endemic to the Big Bend and have a grave impact upon countless other species. Migratory fish species are a staple in the diet of the region's people. Many of these fish will no longer be able to swim upstream past the dams to their natural breeding grounds in the headwaters of the Xingu. Other migratory species, such as the white blotched river stingray and numerous turtle species, will also lose access to their breeding grounds. Finally, deforestation linked to dam construction will drastically alter the habitats of the endangered white-cheeked spider monkey and black-bearded sake monkey. Diverting the river would cause stagnant pools to form on the Big Bend, allowing one species to breed uncontrollably, the Anopheles mosquito. This species of mosquito spreads parasites that cause infectious diseases, 
such as malaria. The state of Pará already faces a malaria pandemic, and more stagnant pools will only increase the likelihood and prevalence of malaria outbreaks. The Belo Monte Dam is not clean energy. At the bottom of Belo Monte's reservoirs, decomposing vegetation from the flooded forest would release methane, a greenhouse gas that is 25 times more potent than carbon dioxide. What's more, much of the dam's energy would go to dirty mining industries. Many dams in the Amazon power the extraction and smelting of iron, copper, gold, as well as bauxite, the raw material for aluminum. These export-oriented industries generate few jobs in the region. Tukurui Dam, built in 1984, powers the largest iron mine in the world, called Karajas. Tukurui's reservoir flooded 200,000 hectares of forest, displaced thousands of indigenous people, and led to widespread deforestation over 25 years, seen here in time-lapse satellite imagery. Investment in mining is expected to boom in the Amazon with the addition of more hydroelectric dams. For decades, countless river defenders have fought to preserve the Shingu Basin. In 1989, a mobilization led by the Kayapo, renowned anthropologist Daryl Posey, and musician Sting, sparked an international campaign that brought the dam to the world's attention, forcing the government to cancel the project. But in 2002, the Brazilian government announced renewed plans to dam the Xingu. By 2008, thousands of indigenous people, riverbank families, and people from the Xingu Basin organized a second international meeting to reignite the campaign. By 2010, Brazil's Federal Environmental Agency granted a license for the Belo Monte complex against the recommendations of their own technical staff. Now, a license to begin construction of the Belo Monte dams has been announced, and tensions are rising in the region. The Belo Monte complex is not just about one dam. It's about the future of the Amazon. To store enough water to produce energy year-round, and in order to make the dam economically viable, the Brazilian government is likely to build additional dams upstream, with much larger social and environmental impacts. If Belamonte is constructed by steamrolling environmental laws and basic human rights, it will clear the way for the Brazilian government's ambitious plans to construct a series of additional large dams along other magnificent rivers of the Amazon. The Araguaia Tocantins, the Tapajós and Telos Pires, and the Trombetas Mapuera and Jaturu rivers in the Trombetas Basin. Construction of two dams is already underway on the Madeira River. In fact, more than 60 large dams are planned for the Brazilian Amazon over the next 20 years, and the Brazilian government plans to build dams in Peru, Bolivia, and Ecuador. Following construction of the Belo Monte Dam, the Amazon Basin would increasingly become an endless series of stagnant reservoirs, its river systems thwarted by giant walls of concrete and steel. In Brazil, indigenous peoples, scientists, journalists, and people from all walks of life are increasingly questioning their government about the huge social and environmental dangers and financial risks of the Belo Monte Dam complex. While demanding the project's cancellation, they are also calling attention to promising alternatives for meeting the energy needs of Brazilian society, which respect the Amazon and its people. By investing in energy efficiency, Brazil could cut its demand for electricity by 40% before the year 2020. The power saved would be equivalent to the capacity of 14 Belo Monte dams, a savings of up to $19 billion. By investing in true clean energy, such as wind and solar, the Brazilian government could generate 8 million new jobs, far more than the Belo Monte Dam ever would. Renewables could account for 20% of the country's electricity by the year 2020, compared with only 1.3% today. Rivers are the lifeblood of the Amazon. The people of the Amazon deserve a future where a healthy environment is worth more than short-term profits. There is still time to stop the disastrous Belo Monte Dam. You can help defend the Xingu and the rivers of the Amazon by taking action now. Do your part by visiting the web links on the screen 
and by sending a message to the Brazilian government. Help defend the rivers, the people, and the future of the Amazon rainforest.